The tech sector, definitely seeing throwbacks to some of the old tech manias in the past. I want to kind of put the current environment into perspective by showing two examples in history where tech shares really kind of outpaced the broad market. So take a look at this example from uh, the early 2000s. So this is 1999 actually through 2002. So about a three year span of time. Red lines on the left are what's important. Dow Industrials noticed peaks on January 14 of 2000. NASDAQ Composite on the other hand, just keeps blasting higher here. Tech shares top in March, right? Three months later, and in that final 100 days or so, the NASDAQ would nearly double, right? Market veterans, of course, remember this time. It was a full-blown mania. But in fact, the weakening Dow signaled the vulnerability, right? Dow would drop nearly 40% in three years. Uh, NASDAQ just got crushed nearly 80%. So that that's a pretty well-known, pretty famous example where a divergence between the Dow and the NASDAQ provided the tell that a big reversal was coming. There's a lesser known instance, however, where this same dynamic played out. Take a look here from 67 through 69. Here investors are, had even more warning, right? The Dow peaks nearly a full year ahead of the NASDAQ. Back then the NASDAQ was known as the OTC index. Dow peaks in December of 68. That's the vertical dashed line on the chart. OTC index rallied to a new high in November of 69. So 11 months later, the market is then way down into 1970. May of 1970, Dow lost a third of its value. Neither index would make any material gains for the next 13 years. So history shows a pattern of the NASDAQ topping last at the end of strong rallies. So we'll see if that same script plays out today. Today's version of this dynamic dates back to February this year. The Dow rallied to uh, 29,551 on February 12. NASDAQ closing high was around 9,800. Both indexes crashed together into March and the NASDAQ then jumps to new highs that are currently unconfirmed by the Dow. So the divergence now is about six months. We've essentially split the difference uh, between those last two charts. This could be another big tell that a reversal is ahead.